how they frame it up, what they talk about, and then trying to trans- translate that into actionable things for the business person to try to really, you know, feel good about and, and confident with. And so when you talk about this person who's sort of like the business analyst, are you talking referring to a person who really can play both sides of this, where they understand the the technology and the AI side and all of what's going on there to understand like what's what's real and not real and then how to then broker that into the business world. Uh, um, yeah, so the way I would answer that is that the business analyst could also be a research analyst. It could be it's somebody that has to be somewhat familiar, I think, or comfortable interacting with computers and softwares to be able to um, you know, manipulate the software to generate the visualizations or whatever it is that they're going to have to look at in order to be able to start to get information that's uh, relevant and to be able to synthesize that and to start drawing some conclusions that you can take action on. That could take the form of somebody that's got a computer science degree, understands this area, could actually write code, but is also embedded in a business organization and understands the business. And you could have that all rolled into one person. I don't know that there's um, an excess of people right now that are trained that way. And clearly, if you got somebody out of school, you would have to spend plenty of time and, you know, probably a number of years to get them trained on internally how you work, how your business operates, how you make money, um, how you've lost money in the past through to maybe some not so smart decisions. Um, and I think the more common way is to have resources that are steeped in data analytics and understanding how to code and to structure data and how to visualize it and partnering them with researchers or people in the business that are in the finance area or whatever and having them interact together. And so you've got, um, you know, kind of like a, a, a an information systems or IT team that specializes more in the AI area around those kind of four pillars and is a support group. It's almost like it's a decision support group, right? And they're working to gather and structure data, testing out tools and capabilities to present that data in ways that is going to be relevant to the decision makers in the business. And then that makes the folks that have been in the business a long time and have been making decisions but maybe not making decisions with as much data as they could have. And... Uh, creating a synergy between the capability and the decision makers so that they can make better informed decisions and make those decisions more quickly so it makes them more agile. And what, just re, re, um, go back to what do you say would be the four pillars of that group that the, in terms of their skills that you were talking about? Well, I think just classically, if you go and you search what is data analytics, because I think it all comes down to data analytics and the skills that are associated with it. Um, the four I think common areas that you'll find are data mining, Mm -hmm. uh, data infrastructure, uh, data visualization, and what's called decision analytics. And so data mining is really, you would use that to basically take large bodies of information, categorize it, um, lift the associations between the data, where it came from, what does it mean? Like, um, it would be association rules, like this ingredient is a surfactant, and that surfactant does X, right? <laughs> if you were talking about formulation or something. And data mining is really used more for knowledge discovery, trying to, you know, find connections uh, between things, but try, trying to help actually recall information that's static, um, and you just want to be able to structure it in a way to recall it to create a subset that you're going to use for something else. Um, And then that has a relationship then to data infrastructure, which is more around modeling, right, and how do you manage your big data, um, how do you warehouse it, how do you stage it, um, how do you take the data and, and create the subsets, and how do you pull those subsets out, and then how do you use those in 